Yeah, I'm Joa Burchikiri from Uganda. I was uh, diagnosed uh, prostate cancer stage 1. A doctor in Uganda called uh, Dr. Amanya referred me to Dr. Surya of Yashoda Hospitals in, in India. So we started the process and the process of bringing us here to see Dr. Surya was a quick process. When we reached here, actually the, the hospital service is amazing. We welcomed the service that we are given to us was good. Dr. Surya, when we met Dr. Surya on 22nd Feb, he also started his investigations and uh, he confirmed the results or the reports, the reports we came with from Uganda. He worked on me on 28th. The surgery was robotic and uh, I'm happy to say that within two weeks I'm back on my feet. Few challenges which should be a healing process and uh, I came knowing that I was expecting to, after removing the cassette, I thought they would be having a two, three weeks with the urine leakage. But I almost never got any urine leakage. In a day it was over. And in two, three days I'm, I'm, I'm back on my feet. So I appreciate the services, the Shadow Spitros, how you are picking us from where we are staying treatment you are giving us when we are at the hospital, care that is being given to us when we are at the hospital, we really appreciate. We appreciate the whole staff headed by Dr. Surya as the, the, uh, the contact person. And even Mr. Harry, whom I met in Kampala before I came, the assurance he gave me is what I found here. We really appreciate everything of the Ashoda Hospital. Hello everybody, I am Dr. Surya Prakash and uh, he is my colleague Dr. Likit Eshwar. We are from the Department of Urology and Robotics of uh, Yashoda Samajiguda. Uh, we are here to share our experience of, with one of our patients who had a prostate cancer and uh, underwent surgery in our department. Mr. Zoab Ruki Kiara is, came from Uganda and he was diagnosed with prostate cancer there in his country and he was referred to us for definitive treatment. Uh, on evaluation, he was found to have a localized uh, prostate cancer and we confirmed that he is a candidate for robotic radical prostatectomy. And the same surgery was done on him about two weeks ago and uh, successfully do the procedure. The prostate was removed uh, completely and post-operatively the patient is doing very well. And the, the, the problems in this surgery are uh, we have to do a meticulously dissection sparing the nerves which supply the prostate and the penis. So that was done successfully in this patient. Post-operatively, patient is uh, uh, voiding well and is passing urine normally without any leak. That, that's the major thing. He's not using any diaper. Normally after this surgery, usually patients need to wear diaper for a month or sometimes even three months. So that causes a lot of inconvenience and most of them will have impotence, erectile dysfunction. But in his case, patient is not using any diaper, he is continent, that is within two weeks after surgery, and he has some amount of erections. So these types of, these kind of surgeries are possible when we do a proper meticulous dissection. And in our hospital, we have got a advanced robo, or Da Vinci XI robo, which helps us in performing these kind of uh, procedures. Hello everyone, I am Dr. Likiteshwar. I am part of the team of uh, Dr. Surya Prakash. Sir. As Sir has already described about the integrities of the radical prostatectomy, but uh, the most important part while doing a radical prostatectomy is uh, the tumor control. Other than that, the most important part having a good quality of life post surgery. And uh, the most important thing one is erectile dysfunction, and the other is the incontinence. So we can help mitigate this by having a good nerve sparing, and uh, uh, there is not much damage to the sphincter mechanism by saving as much adequate muscle as possible. Doing this requires a very high level of expertise and good vision which can be attained with robot. While in this case, we could actually save adequate amount of muscle and a good nerve sparing, leading to a very good continence and a good amount of erections for him immediate post-operatively. Here in Yashoda Somaji Guda, we have advanced robotic system with good team of uh, knowledgeable uh, urologists. Other than robotic prostatectomies, we are also performing other advanced uro-oncology procedures like uh, partial nephrectomies and uh, adrenalectomies also. As a whole, uh, we are uh, giving a good holistic approach 
towards uro oncology as a whole not only having adequate tumor resection but also taking care about the post operative uh, morbidity and good quality of care after surgery too which is very important